Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Vanessa DeBerle, and today I'm going to share five things that you can change in your business so that you're more effective and you're using your time in areas that are really going to make you some money. When we're new in affiliate marketing and we're online doing business, we tend to we tend to do what we think we're supposed to be doing and you don't know what you don't know, right? You keep hearing, I've heard that uh, saying before and I'm beginning to understand it very well. We're doing things that we think we're supposed to be doing to grow our business when in reality it's not, it's just eating up time. So I'm gonna share five things that you can change going into 2020 that are gonna help you with your business. Number one, stop following everybody how many people are you following on youtube how many people are you following on facebook how much time every day are you spending following people i want you to really be focused and um, more intentional about who you're following now we all like to follow gary v or tony robbins um, tony robbins is more motivational but let's go with gary v he's about building a business grant cardone these are huge gurus. You're not ready to follow most of the advice they have anyway. If you're just starting out, there's a lot of work you have to do to be able to get to that level. So what I suggest you do is find no more, no more than five, five max, three to five people that are helping you with your business that are just a step above you. Do you, do you remember being in elementary school and you were like in third or fourth grade and you looked up to kids that were older to, than you, maybe even just one grade up and you thought, wow, I want to be like them. But you didn't think about the kids in high school. They were like so old. And here you are in fourth grade looking at the fifth graders like they are just so awesome. That's how this business is. You want to look at the people who are just one step ahead of you and not those people that are way, way up there because you're so far away from that. It may not be that far away, but it's far enough away that you don't want to waste time hearing all that when you need to be down here listening to the people that are just a level above you that are really going to help you grow because there's a lot of footwork that you have to do to get to where you're going so that's number one number two i was so mad when i found out about this one when i first started my business I thought every day I had to get on Facebook and post so many posts a week, so many posts a day. I mean, the people that I was listening to at the time, you got to get on there and post four times a day and you got to make sure you're engaging with people. And yes, there, there's a lot to be said that Facebook is valuable, but that's what I was hearing them say. And it might be what you're, you're hearing too, being new, that I got to get on Facebook and keep posting stuff. And really it's just, wasting a lot of your time. There is a time that will come in your business that you're going to, again, intentionally use Facebook, but there's a lot of other stuff you could be doing before you get to that point. So stop doing that. If you're sitting there uh, panicking because you're not getting enough posts on your Instagram or your Facebook or your um, LinkedIn or wherever you're posting, stop. There is a way to post intentionally with your content. And if that's not how you're doing it right now, then you need to stop. That's going to save you a lot of time. Again, there's a time when you're going to post on all these platforms with your content, but you're going to do it in an intentional way. You're going to be number three. Don't stress about building a pretty website just yet. You don't really have the, uh, the, um, the, the audience coming to your website. So if you're spending a lot of time building something that nobody's going to know about, you're wasting your time. You really need to be spending your time building an audience. That's probably one of the number one things you need to do. And if you want to have a place for people to come, let's say you have a free item that you're giving, you can use a landing page. Just one page, you can make it nice and have that be the place that people come in the beginning. Now, as you build your business and you've got some systems in place, then you can go build your website. So don't stress about having this elaborate, beautiful website built just yet. Number four, a lot of people think you that you need to go out and, and pay for ads for Facebook or for Google. And eventually that is a way that some people make their, um, make more money. They get out there and they, you know, 10 X their business. But if you're new and you don't have an audience, 
you're really wasting your money because you you really people need to know who you are. You need to get out there and um, put a footprint out there before you really want to start sending out ads. And you really need to know what you're doing. I did in the beginning because I thought, you know, you just hear all this information. And I remember trying to do it thinking this doesn't make sense to me. I think I spent about a hundred bucks before I, I was like, this isn't, you know, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing and I wasn't ready. Um, I still don't do ads to be honest. Um, one day it may be in the future, but if you're new and you don't really have a large audience and you don't have a lot of content out there, you can be better spending your time someplace else and not wasting money and throwing it into ads that probably won't work if you don't know what you're doing. And number five, I want to talk about courses in two different ways. So you're kind of getting a little bonus here. One, if you're new, a lot of people um, are making money on their courses, but they're making money on the course because they've built their business up to a point where people know who they are and they're going to buy from them. They have an email list um, created. They have an audience in there. They have an audience on other platforms usually in your email list, to be honest. But until you build that large enough where you have a lot of people that know you, they like you, and they trust you, they're probably not going to buy your course. Now, along with that, don't go buy every course out there that you see. There are courses that you'll find that are valuable. I'm not saying that they're not, but don't keep... I was talking to a friend one time, and she went to buy another course, and she just kind of shared, she goes... Every time I buy a course, I think this is it. This is the course that's going to teach me everything I need to know. And I'm going to like get over that hump. And I started thinking, and, and I think a lot of us do that. We think, you know, this is the course that's going to teach me everything. And really different courses will teach you different things. So be careful when you're buying the courses, make sure it's something that's going to help you grow your business and then use that information. How many times have you bought a course and maybe didn't even get through the whole thing and you're already off buying the next one? And people say you're off buying shiny objects. That's kind of what they call it, the shiny object syndrome. But I think it's the hope. I think that we're, what we're doing is we have so much hope that we want to be successful that we think this is the one that's going to do it. And again, I'm not saying there aren't some good courses out there, but if you're not buying the course and going through it and really applying it, then you're really wasting your money. So that's kind of your bonus tip. Be very intentional again with that. So it sounds like what I'm telling you going into 2020 is one, be intentional with any decisions that you make. And number two, grow your audience. That is important before you do a lot of those other things. So if you feel like you have a small audience right now, that's where you need to be focusing your attention. So thank you. I hope that helps you going into 2020. I'm going to be sharing some other things going into the new year. Um, just because that's where my mindset is right now. I'm really excited with some of the goals I've made. So get your notebook out, make some goals going into the new year. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, especially if I'm in the fifth grade and you're in the fourth, I can teach you some things. If you're in high school, you might want to go somewhere else and, and look at somebody that's uh, in college, right? All right. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification button, and I will be posting every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'll see you on the next video.